love it or leave it. Here to lie directly to our audience's faces, it's the incredibly funny, the phenomenal, your favorite comedian and mine, Miss Pat. Hi. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having How me. How are you? Just fine. Welcome, welcome. Okay, you got some can fit me. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. How y'all doing? How you doing? I think I said fine. <laughs> I'm doing fine. How are you doing? I'm over 50, so I'm sleepy. We're all sleepy. Uh, all right, so you're from Atlanta. Yes, born and raised. Who is your favorite politician in your hometown right now? In my hometown right now? Mm -hmm. uh, Stacey Abrams, but she keep losing. <laughs> yeah, it's tough, I know, it's tough, it's tough. We want her to win. We want I her wanted to win. to win too, but it's something that's scaring Atlanta with that little afro she got, they won't vote for her. You think, that, you think that's what it is? Laugh, that's, yeah, the afro scare white people when it don't, it's not moist. So if she would put a little more grease in it, the white people feel a little safer. <laughs> <laughs> where, the, where, were the, where, were the, where the fuck were you in October? <laughs> what, what are we supposed to do now? Great, great advice. It's too fucking late. Oh. You're, if you have this tip, we look, everybody's I, trying to help her I win. I voted for her. That's not enough. It didn't work. She well, lost by more than one vote. Well, I, she know to comb her fucking hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. You act like I made her lose. I wear a wig. <laughs> Thank you to the person in the middle. <laughs> Everybody else think I'm being rude and shit. I'm like, you can't be no big old black lady with no small afro. You gotta balance the shit out. <laughs> Don't you see me with hair on my head because I'm a big ass black woman. I want you to know something. What? I'm not gonna comment on any of this. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna say a fucking you better, thing. You better not, goddammit. <laughs> I will eat your little white ass. <laughs> it's been a long time since I ate a white man. <laughs> but I gotta say, y'all tip well. <laughs> I just saw you pussy and you didn't even catch it. <laughs> now, Miss <laughs> Pat is an incredible storyteller. As that wasn't no story, that was the truth. I know what. I just, we're just, I'm just, oh, okay, I'm okay, just trying okay. to transition out. Okay, okay. Without so much as hinting at a comment of what you'd been oh, saying. Oh, okay, okay, okay. For my own safety. <laughs> it's so good, in fact, it's actually Im nearly impossible to know uh, where her real life ends and the bit begins. So we're going to need a volunteer to play a game, a game we're calling Two Truths and a Lie <laughs> with Miss Pat. Brian is in the crowd. It is true that other people call that too, call it that too, but whatever. All right, here's how it works. I'm gonna read three uh, log lines of stories. Two are uh, real stories from Miss Pat's life. And one is one we made up. If you correctly guess which one is false, you get to ask Miss Pat to tell the story uh, of your choosing. She won't listen. You can tell whatever fucking story you want. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. It's barely a game at all. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, can we get the lights up a little bit? If not, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> Did I scare the lighting man? Uh, he wants y'all to turn on the lights. <laughs> <laughs> Who, someone out there raised their hand? Brian, just go to somebody. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Vicky. Vicky, all right. Here are three entirely true things about Miss Pat. All right, you have to choose which one you think is the lie, all right? Okay. She was in a, uh, Miss Pat was attacked by an escaped cougar, kicked out of her coupon club, <laughs> hit by a dumb truck. Where's the lie? The coupon club. 
<laughs> How did you know? You watched the show? <laughs> <laughs> I just guess, but I did that's, the show. <laughs> that's false. That happened. That happened. So you got it wrong. What the hell? <laughs> Come on, Malcolm. So you, you were kicked out of your coupon club and hit by a dump truck, presumably on different days. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, one really bad Wednesday. The dump truck come from me getting losing my nip in a drive-by. So, uh, <laughs> uh, sure. uh, the coupon, I moved to Indiana, a place called Plainfield, Indiana, and I wanted to fit in. <clears throat> Very conservative little white neighborhood, great neighbors. I was there for 15 years, and so I wanted something to do, and my career wasn't taking off, so I tried to join a coupon club, and, um, you know, I'm a, I'm a black woman from the inner city of Atlanta, and we don't do all coupons like white women. They're serious about this shit. They keep their stuff like birth certificates. And so they had, you know, you had to have a booklet and it all lined up and you went to the store on that day. Well, I'm an ex-drug dealer, so I ball mine up like dope money and, and put a rubber band around it. <laughs> did, you put the, did you put the biggest coupons on the outside? And I stuff it in my titty. Okay. And, and they told me I had to go. <laughs> they said I wasn't organized. <laughs> That's horse shit. I, we was just there to buy Tide laundry detergent. <laughs> I don't know why you got to be organized for that. And you were hit by a dump truck. Uh, I jumped on top of my kid's father's car truck, and he said he didn't see me. I jumped over an overpath because he was cheating. He had a woman in the car. So he drugged me, and I'm on the side, hey, I love you, but he said he didn't see me. Uh, love will make you do crazy things. Love made me do a lot of crazy things. Was it interstate or he was, local, uh, a street, it was, it was surface a street. street? I was walking over a bridge, and I looked down, and he had a woman in the car. So I, I don't, I'm young, and I'm thinking I'm Spider-Man or Wonder Woman. And I jumped on that damn hood. I landed on the hood, and I was like, bitch, you're cheating. And he took off. <laughs> well, I got to say, you know, in fairness to him, <laughs> you really don't expect to get caught that way. <laughs> you know? You kind of think you're going to, look, you, you may not think you're going to get away with it, but when you're on the highway, you think you're safe, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and here come this big black woman flying like a kite. <laughs> Did you just land on the windshield? <laughs> That's cool. What was your, just in... What was the best case scenario for you when you were, like, what did you want to happen? Like, what's, what's the goal? When, you're, when you throw yourself over the overpass, you're coming down, you land on the hood of the car, you see him, you see her, what do you want to happen? What's the best outcome for you? I want that bitch to get out the car. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. What you think I was there for a ride? I don't... <laughs> I just, I don't know what you wanted. I'm asking a question. You don't know how to cheat, do you? No. Oh, no, Jesus. I don't. I'm too anxious. Too anxious. <laughs> I guess he thought I was going to valet the truck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to park your car, sir. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, who wants to go next? There's somebody else. That... Hi, what's your name? Alice. Alice. Hey, Alice. Here are three truths, but one's a lie. <laughs> she met Jimmy Kimmel at Norman Lear's 100th birthday party. She met Jimmy B Buffett at divorce court. She met Jimmy Carter at a McDonald's. The first one. You think the first one's false? Yes. No, it's true. You're wrong. Damn. Now, I, I, uh, I'm very interested to understand how you met Jimmy Carter at a McDonald's. How I met Jimmy Carter at McDonald's? Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> I used to work at McDonald's because um, I was a convicted felon and I was getting my life back together. So, cause, <laughs> thank you for laughing. Because <laughs> I used to sell crack. So, <laughs> so I'm working at this McDonald's. I'm on parole. I'm getting my life back together. But I'm doing what everybody else do. You know, back I'm 50. So back in those days, McDonald's paid three seventy five dollars an hour. You can't live off that. So everybody had a turn of stealing out of the register. It was my register day to steal. <laughs> so I'm stealing out the register. And in walked these white dudes with plugs in their ears. And they was like, and they looking around. I was like, oh, my God. They caught me stealing. I'm going, my parole officer is somewhere. 
<laughs> and, he, and this is a true story. I hear him say, it's clear and in walk President Jimmy Carter, but I'm a hood rat. I didn't recognize him. And so he get to the register and I'm like, he looked familiar. <laughs> 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 he probably 70, he probably 60 at the time. Pants jacked up, nutsack hanging on one side. <laughs> yep. And so I look at him and, the, and I said, why he look familiar? And the boy on the grill run up to the race and said, Patricia, that's the president of the United States, Jimmy Carter. And my dumb ass said, oh, nigga, I told you I knew you. <laughs> <laughs> and he said nothing. <laughs> he placed his order, I'll never forget, he ordered a water, a cup of water, a cheeseburger, and a side salad. And then I go on to say, in words, your shit is free. You the president. And I'm glad he didn't give me no money that day because I was stealing. And I would hate to have to <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> keep his money. <laughs> side salad and a burger. And a water, a cup of water. That's a fucked up shitty order for McDonald's. That's not how you go to McDonald's. That's not how you get it done at McDonald's. That's not how you bring secret service into McDonald's and scare the hell out of me because I was stealing. <laughs> hmm. Side salad and a burger. No fries? No fries. It was a water. I, I, That's I, why I only got the one that. term. <laughs> if you want to win two terms in this country, you got to get fries. Uh, I think he was too nice. Too nice for fries? A uh, second term. <laughs> oh, I just, that's a good point. All right, last one. Somebody else have a uh, uh, Betsy here in the front or right there. Oh, hi. What's your name? It's Betsy right here in the front. Raise your hand. Hi, John. Hi, Betsy. <laughs> Betsy comes every week. Hey, Betsy. Hi. Keep coming. Which of the following isn't true? Bill Clinton inadvertently started Miss Pat's career. Bra President Barack Obama got Miss Pat's car towed. Ronald Reagan killed Miss Pat's dog. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, C? No. No one got it. The stories are too unbelievable. All right. I will hear them both. I have to know, understand them both. But uh, let's start with this. Uh, so Bill Clinton inadvertently started your career. Uh, yeah, I voted for Bill Clinton because he was cute. And, <laughs> and he created a program called the Welfare to Work Program for lazy bitches like me. So I had to go get a job. And I hated Bill Clinton after that. Because I, I couldn't watch The Young and the Restless anymore. And so I get a job, um, and I became a medical assistant. That's how I got my GED. I wouldn't have never gotten it had he not paid me $500 to take the test. That's cool. Yeah, that was very cool. Bill Clinton, all of your heroes. Uh, your oh. ne <laughs> now, I find it hard to believe that Ronald Reagan killed your dog. Ronald Reagan actually killed my dog. Fuck. So I never forget it was the second term, and me and my dog were sitting there listening to the radio. <laughs> I'm not lying. <laughs> he was on the back porch. I had to wonder up, and it was raining, and I, and we were so poor. And I was just like anybody but Ronald Reagan, so I can get better lunch at school. And and the radio said your new president is Ronald Reagan. And my dog jumped out the back porch and hung himself. And I was like, No, Papa. <laughs> <I'm t> <laughs> what What do you I was like, What do you mean? Democrats don't kill themselves. Republicans do. Don't do that. <laughs> and my dog was like, Fuck y'all. I'm out of here. Y'all <laughs> Y'all can't buy no dog food. I'm tired of eating pig feet with y'all. And my dog just, he jumped out the back porch. What? <laughs> <laughs> he said, what? <laughs> just jumped what? out, that was it. He was an old German shepherd with no side teeth, and he was, he had had it. So <laughs> he just jumped out the back porch. So when it stopped raining, I went out there and got him. I was like, dang, you should have took me with you. But... <laughs> I like you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he black, so y'all scared to laugh because y'all white. But he over here acting like he had a black family reunion. He in the flow. <laughs> he was like, this kind of blackness ain't never been on this show. <laughs> <laughs> He's screaming. Y'all scared to laugh, but you know what I've been through, brother. 
<laughs> yeah. And I never own another dog. I just got a dog. My husband just bought a dog. And that was that's been over. I'm 50, so that had to be over like 35, 40 years. So my good. husband went out and bought three cane corsos, and they all look like my real daddy in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Just sort of scrunched up. Yeah, my daddy. Those are the, my those daddy are the, looked like a hound dog. <laughs> sort of a scrunchy face. Yeah. Of, yeah a lot my, of, a lot and of my daddy looked just like these dogs. <laughs> he dead, so we can laugh. Yeah, we can laugh. My parents are here. Dad, what kind of dog do you look like? Uh, <laughs> don't answer that. <laughs> uh, so Miss Pat, season, the season three of the Miss Pat show is now on BT, BET Plus. It's out the third season. Miss Pat, this was a delight. Thank you so much for being here. I was so worried about this podcast because they say you do political stuff, and I'm like, I just vote and mind my business. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't want to get into these fights. You know, I got some Trump friends, and only because my neighbor built really good fences, and, and he was a Trump supporter, and I was not letting that go out of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to pick my batters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> great, great fences make great neighbors. They do, and I, I, I listened to all that Trump stuff as he was putting them poles in the ground. <laughs> I was like, way to go. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Pat, everybody, she'll be back for the rant wheel. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was so great. Thank you. Thank you.